Welcome back to the channel. It's been a busy holiday season. You ate me from cancer. <laughs> We're finally starting to get some early safe ice near where I live. Nothing more to do than to head out and do a little perch fishing. Today we're in about 10 feet of water, nice and shallow. And I'm using the tried, tested, and true slab grabber. These things are just wild, they're erratic. They call fish in, they close the deal. Let's go. So I actually got out yesterday for a couple hours. I caught a couple nice fish. Took a step out of my shack yesterday and just as I did, oh, is that a fish? Just as I did, some dude's hut was blowing down the lake. I was having a total flashback. It was actually the same brand too, it was Freybill, which is actually what this hut is. They should totally make that their marketing campaign. We put our huts to the test. Don't believe us? Check out these guys. But, anyways, we'll see how we do today. Okay, first fish, not huge, not a keeper. Yeah, I was really trying to target that bigger fish in the pack when those packs show up. One benefit of having the camera down there is you can kind of angle your lure to target those bigger fish. Now obviously that one wasn't jumbo, but it was the biggest in the group. I was messing around with the heater. That was a big perch. So you might notice I'm in a different shack today. This is a one man, not insulated shack that I got on sale, uh, front Canadian tire. And the reason why I bought this is to have options. This one's only 18 pounds, whereas my Otter, which I love, it's 50 pounds or 48 pounds. So don't get me wrong, it's spacious, it's warm, you know, it's great in the wind, where this one, it's just light. This is 18 pounds. I can sling it in all kinds of conditions. Okay, so I bought something recently. It wasn't expensive, but it was one of the best purchases I've bought in a long time. It keeps things so much more organized and comfortable. A small folding table. I got my food, my AquaView, my GoPro, my batteries. I've got space underneath it. For 40 bucks at Home Depot, it was an epic purchase. Amazing how quickly it goes from zero to a hundred. Look at that. There's way too many to even be able to play keep away at this point.
great video. Yeah, problem with the slab grabber is because it's so erratic, it's really hard to keep it on camera. Oh, there's a nice one bottom left. There you go, come on. Try and keep it away from these little guys. Bottom left there, right on top of them. Come on, don't. Oh, there we go. We'll take that one too. Another beauty. Nice little keeper. Let's go back down there. Oh, that bottom left one looks big. Yeah. It, oh, he had it. Did he have it? Getting pretty selective now. Oh, bottom right again. That's a nice fish. screen man there we go nice this one's got a bit of weight to it beauty look at these fish just crushing it these are perfect they're not like their bellies are gonna explode jumbos but they're perfect eater sizes It's a weird colored one down there. It's almost like the one I got yesterday that had no stripes on it. It's an odd one. There's like hardly any stripes on it. Must be some kind of mutation. Looks a little bit bigger. See, he's got a little bit darker colors and his fin's orange. I find that those ones where they look yellow and orange on the camera tend to be a bit bigger. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but I feel like the bigger they get, the deeper their colors get. See, that's a nice one right there. Okay, let's try and get him. He's right there on the left. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Not bad. He's a nice fish. I don't know if he was as big as I thought he was. Definitely a nice fish. You gotta strike while the iron's hot because one minute they're here, the next minute they're gone. There was literally gotta be a hundred plus fish that just showed up out of nowhere. And cherry picking the biggest ones adds a whole new dynamic of fishing with the AquaView camera. Anyone who says perch fishing is boring, I challenge you to do that and tell me it's not a freaking riot. Okay, so it's not even 10.30 yet and the winds are picking up. A couple hours fishing, we got like, I don't know, about 10 decent eaters. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Tons of ice fishing content coming this year. Be safe. Have a great day.